Thanksgiving meal prep, and we're going to roast some carrots in the air fryer. This is the air fryer that a patient recommended that I get. Um, I really like it because it has two trays. Um, so you can cook more in there. Um, I've done like chicken breasts and vegetables and cooked them at the same time before. So um, the roasted vegetables are really awesome. They taste really good. Um, and it's a good way to include more vegetables in your diet. Um, and you'll, your kids will probably like them. So. This is the um, Instant Pot air fryer. I'm preheating it. A lot of times they recommend preheating it. This is preheating to 400 and we are going to roast these carrots for um, 8 to 12 minutes or 9 to 12 minutes. So what I did was peeled the carrots and then I'm using this potato carrot crinkle cutter and um, it's really good to heat them approximately the same size so they cook um, evenly and so this is kind of what I did is um, getting them close to the same size and they're fancy because they, they have the crinkle cut and you can also do like sweet potato fries with this I bought mine on Amazon so so then once you have all the vegetables, um, put them in a bowl, and I'm going to put a little bit of um, olive oil on it, and then some vegetable seasoning. This one is from Schilling, or actually McCormick, sorry. McCormick and it's salt-free vegetable seasoning. I'm gonna try a little of this. It adds a good flavor and there's lots of herbs and spices in there. And then here's another one I've purchased and it's called the Traeger Veggie Rub. This one is salt free and this one does have a little bit of sodium in it. Um, so I'm going to try a little of each. And then just stir it around so you can get the olive oil and seasonings mixed throughout. And that beep was the air fryer is at the um, 400 degrees. And once I get them on the trays, then we're going to cook it for eight to, or nine to 12 minutes. And it could, it might be a little bit longer because these are a little bit bigger. Um, they will shrink a little bit, but they will taste delicious. So once you have that, and mixed around and evenly coated with some olive oil and the seasonings. You can just put them on your trays. Usually when I'm at home, I use my hands a little bit more, but sort of space them out. They can all cook evenly. And then I'm going to fill up this tray. And this is something your, your kids can actually help you with. And um, if your kids can help you with cooking things, they're more likely to try it. So I'm going to put this in here. And then about halfway through, we will rotate the racks. And I'm gonna set the timer for 12 minutes. Okay, thanks. Okay, we're continuing with uh, roasted air fried carrots. And I added a little bit, about four minutes extra. And of course I switched them at the halfway point of cooking. Um, the closer you get to the top of the oven, the more brown your, um, whatever you're cooking is going to make it. Um, so you want to, if you're doing like <clears throat> waffle sweet potato fries, you want to do them close to the bottom because they tend to get brown quickly. And it's always important to switch the shells um, halfway through the cooking time. So, and also there's a light so you can check on what's going on. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and take it out. And it smells delicious. So 
I'm going to go ahead and put them in a bowl. Looks nice and pretty with all the seasonings. It's kind of crispy. <clears throat> Then I'm going to have Kamiko give it a taste test. And these trays are very easy to clean up. They're um, hot coated with something, so it's really easy to clean up and wipe out. So I'm just going to put some on a plate so Kamiko can try them. Um, it smells really good and it looks pretty in the dish. Miko can give it a try. That looks so good. Let's try here. Mmm. Sorry. It's Very hot. hot. I'm sure it's hot. Sorry. Those are super good. I really like those. The seasoning really adds to it, too. Yeah. And you can, you know, air fry any vegetable. Mm -hmm. um, cauliflower, um, broccoli, Brussels sprouts, and um, mm -hmm. with onions, you know, it, and it all tastes really, it adds a different flavor to the vegetables. And if you um, have your kids help you with it, they're more likely to um, try it. So mm -hmm. um, this would be a good portion for your Thanksgiving meal.